Built to Last, Successful Habits of Visionary Companies by Jim Collins and Jerry I. Porras is a seminal book in the field of management theory, focusing on the unique qualities that have distinguished iconic companies over the long term. Through extensive research, Collins and Porras identify and dissect the characteristics that have rendered certain companies visionary, allowing them to prosper for decades and in some cases over a century while their competitors have fallen by the wayside. The authors conducted a six-year research project at the Stanford University Graduate School of Business, selecting 18 visionary companies and comparing them with a control group of successful but not extraordinary competitors. The visionary companies include iconic names such as 3M, Boeing, Disney, Ford, General Electric, Hewlett-Packard, IBM, Merck, Motorola, Nordstrom, Procter & Gamble, Sony, and Walmart. Their counterparts, companies that were successful but not as enduringly impactful, served as a baseline to determine what set the visionary companies apart. A central theme of the book is the distinction between being a time teller and a clock builder. While a time teller may be able to tell you the time now, a clock builder creates a tool that will tell the time for generations. Visionary companies focus on building mechanisms, cultures, systems, and structures that are robust and enduring. The authors outline several core ideologies which are evident in visionary companies. These companies are not solely profit-driven. They seek to influence the world positively guided by a set of core values that remain constant even as their business strategies and practices adapt over time. The research shows that these core values vary immensely from company to company, suggesting there is no one-size-fits-all approach to corporate values, but rather a need for authenticity and consistency in whichever values an organization espouses. Collins and Porras highlight the concept of the big, hairy, audacious goal, BHAG, Visionary companies set themselves goals that are strategically bold and emotionally compelling. These goals are often long-term and act as a unifying focal point for the organization's efforts, analogous to a North Star. The BHAG is not reserved for upper management. Instead, it permeates through all levels of the organization, inspiring all employees. Another characteristic of visionary companies is their openness to change and innovation. While they maintain their core ideologies, they also exhibit a remarkable ability to evolve and adapt to changing environments. They are relentless in stimulating progress, always pushing the envelope and encouraging creative thinking. The infrastructure of a visionary company separates its core values from its cultural and operational practices, allowing the latter to change as needed without sacrificing the former. Preserve the core, stimulate progress, a duality concept highlighted in the book demonstrates that visionary companies can do both. They preserve their core ideals and values while simultaneously seeking advancement and innovation in their business practices. The authors term this duality as being conservative, a blend of conservatism around the core ideology and progressiveness in everything else. The research additionally emphasizes the importance of having what Collins and Porras call a cult-like culture. By instilling deeply held values and beliefs, and by engaging employees who share those beliefs, visionary companies foster strong cultures that can often feel as though they are zealously followed by employees. This is not about creating a homogeneous workforce, but about ensuring alignment between the workforce and the company's core values. Succession planning and leadership transitions are pivotal aspects of building a company to last. The researchers found that visionary companies often promote leaders from within, maintaining continuity, and often preparing decades in advance. Leaders who emerge from within the ranks are generally steeped in the company's core ideology and understand how to promote both the preservation of this core and the encouragement of progress. Moreover, the book rejects the idea that it takes a high-profile, charismatic leader to build a visionary company. Instead, Collins and Porras present evidence suggesting that the most effective leaders of the companies they studied were often unassuming characters who were more plow horse than show horse. These leaders are more interested in building the company than in serving their personal reputation. Another key principle in Built to Last is the idea of try a lot of stuff and keep what works. Visionary companies are exceptionally good at experimentation. 
They often try many different approaches, and when they find something that works, they implement it widely across their organizations. Importantly, they are also willing to admit failures and to learn from their mistakes. The authors also delve into the ways visionary companies manage their alignment to core ideology and the adaptation required for progress. Visionary companies do this through a series of mechanisms that reinforce the core while facilitating change. They create and use simple, clear, and repeatable messages and operations that all serve to strengthen their central mission. In closing, Collins and Porus dispel the myth that these visionary companies were always great. In fact, they demonstrate that many went through long periods of trial and error, mirroring the experiences of their less successful counterparts. The crucial difference, however, lay in their dogged persistence, their unwavering commitment to their core ideology, and their ability to adapt and innovate without sacrificing their underlying principles. Built to Last thus dispenses practical wisdom that goes beyond managerial strategy. It paints a picture of corporate success not through tactical brilliance or market timing, but through a devotion to fundamental principles and ambitious aspirations. Its portrayal of visionary companies as institutions that stand the test of time through a balance of constancy and change offers invaluable lessons to business leaders, showing that a company can be both steadfast in its ideals and revolutionary in its actions. In summary, Built to Last is a comprehensive analysis of what allows companies to outperform their competition over the long term. With a blend of storytelling and empirical research, Collins and Porus provide both a conceptual framework and practical insights for building organizations that endure both culturally and economically. They impart that success is not just about the products or services a company provides, but also how deeply it adheres to its core values, how willing it is to set audacious goals, and how capable it is of nurturing a culture that embraces both continuity and change. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.